Hello everyone, uh, right, okay, so this is going to be a pretty short video, um, but after yesterday when I took the cylinder head off, um, I then went ahead and popped the gearbox onto the engine, uh, just temporarily, just with a few bolts, <coughs> and hoisted it and the engine into position. Now this is the position of the standard um, Vitesse placement where the engine would normally fit but as I said I want to take that engine gearbox back three and a half inches that way so is the mounting there I've now got to fabricate a piece of metal which will bolt onto here uh, so instead of where am I? So instead of it being here, it will come and fit here. And it could well be that I've got enough room to actually just drill through there, but I don't think so. I think I've got to make a, a piece of metal come up here, fabricate a piece of metal which comes up here, weld it to that, and then I can drill the holes through there. Because I think if you look the way that slopes down it's going to be if we follow that line and that bolt through it's going to come up to about here um, and that is three and a half inches so that would do me fine so all I need to do is I've got some cardboard there um, I will cut them out and make up a template so that I can get a piece of metal welded to here so that it'll probably be um, welded along this edge here and then down the sides um, along that edge and then that will take that engine back three and a half inches to where I want it and then as regards the gearbox that's on a sliding mount anyway you can see the two holes here every side I've got two there and two there um, there's an adjustment where that bracket used to be here so I've moved it over to the next set of holes and then of course that also then means that I can then shut this up three and a half inches that way I've got to take into account this rise in the chassis you can see there um, so it's not straightforward by any means, but it's not certainly out of the question. Um, I know other people have done this, so there's no reason why I can't do this either. Uh, so the next thing I'm waiting for, which is from the Gentry Car Club, oh, sorry, the Gentry Motor Car Company, um, is the prop shaft. And so the prop shaft will connect to a diff just there and come up and connect to the gearbox flange which is there and there is one available which is a standard fitment which is for a Triumph Vitesse um, with overdrive so bringing that back three and a half inches gives me the correct distance so there we go so all I'm waiting for now is that prop shaft and for me to make the cardboard templates uh, for the front engine mounts and so to do that because I won't be doing the actual welding I haven't got I, I can weld but I haven't got any welding equipment car going past um, what I'll have to do is take all this front suspension off which is no big deal turrets these are the suspension turrets in silver these are held on with three bolts one at the front there one there and one the other side um, take those turrets off and then with my template and these turrets so I can then go to my local garage and they can make up and weld the um, new mountings which will go here sorry here on that flange 
And then, once that's done, I don't have to take those turrets back off. I can fit them, and then that'll be the final fit. So I just thought I'd show you the stage of play so far, as we ask that. And if I can pick it up in this light, it's not particularly good light. Let's look at this one. I cleaned very roughly <laughs> the piston up on uh, four, uh, sorry, five and six, which is five, and deep down there is six. Um, and it looks like they're standard pistons, which means that um, there is a number 20 on there, and that might be 20 thou oversize. But I can't make that out. I don't know if that's the right number 20 or not. Normally it says plus 20, but it just says 20. Um, but they all look very good. There's no major scores on the cylinders at all. And there's no ridge just here. There's nothing. There's a mark, but that's normal. So it, if I'm lucky, I might just be able to get away with honing the boys and getting new pistons and rings, maybe even just rings. It's not until I strip the engine down that I'll be able to tell. It's all ifs, buts and maybes at the moment. Uh, but it's looking good, looking very good. So I'm pleased with that. Okay, so just a very short video of what I'm up to at the moment. So there won't be anything happening for a couple of days until I get the prop shaft and these cut out and welded on. And I can't really do that until I get the prop shaft because the prop shaft is the defining factor because that is a fixed length or bar a little bit of difference where I've got the splines this end on the prop shaft it allows for a bit of move, movement um, not a huge amount but there is some movement so if I can get the prop shaft in that will give me the exact dimension between the prop shaft flange and the gearbox flange to go back three and a half inches once I've got that connected up I will then know definitely where to mount the new mountings here. Okay, so hope that all makes sense. But it's nice to see engine and gearbox in the chassis now. The cream colour is where I've sprayed, I've cleaned the gearbox up and I've sprayed it um, in a primer which is a high build primer um, and that's come out really nice so once I'm happy with the gearbox uh, then I will um, spray that in silver okay so that's it for now I'm a happy bunny at the moment that's a piston which I haven't cleaned up and you can see the coke on the top which is not a huge amount I've seen far far worse coke on pistons than that so it looks as if it was running very well before um, it was taken out of the original car yeah it has come up well and it's it's very light this um, coke comes off quite easily. I must get my hands dirty. Um, comes off quite easily. Good. Okay. So I just thought I'd give you a quick update on this so far. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, and I adjusted the toe in, toe out on the front suspension. So I'm not getting any scrubbing on the tyres now like I was. So I've altered the track rod end here on both sides to give me equal distance and it's now running quite true 
I don't get any scrubbing. Rolls nicely. No noise from the tyres, which is good. Okay, so next video hopefully will be me fitting the uh, prop shaft and by that time I'm hoping that I would have had the new mounts welded and in place. Okay, so I'll speak to you again soon, hopefully in a week or so. Okay, so bye for now and uh, speak to you later. Bye.